Hello everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We are an Autodesk reseller. Today we'd like to see our Revit 2024 has changed the way in which we work with our local copies of our collaboration files that would be central files that are saved in the cloud. So just by way of explanation in 2024 we now have the ability to go to our options in our file menu and then under the file locations there's an extra path that's been put in which is the default path for user files over here which typically we set to our C drive and then into BIM. Right, so that would be the typical path for our user files. But now in 24, in addition to this copy for our local files, we've also got the cloud model tab that was added, which I typically set to the same path also C drive BIM. That's up to you. It says that it will sync all local changes for all your cloud models before closing the session. The cloud model cache settings will take effect when you launch Revit again. All cloud models will be recreated from cloud. So after you've set that location you click on OK and then you can restart Revit. Let's restart Revit. So currently in C drive, BIM, we have what it is 2024, collaboration cache. Okay, so that was from a previous installation. And let's go and open one of our files. I'm going to order these docs. And then we'll open from the cloud one of our files. Just browsing to our file. We'll close the work sets as we open them, just to make the process a bit faster. Let's close them. And then we'll synchronize, save the local copy and exit. And then we'll, we'll close the file and then we'll have a look at the file location. You'll see that the file is named SNOD 24A01DZZZ. Try and identify this. All the work sets are closed, but we'll synchronize them anyway. Okay. You can see the save local, save to local. That's the one that we're interested in. And again, this one, save to local. Okay. We've successfully synced. Let's close this file and then have a look. So 
So in the collaboration cache, there you can see in 0723, which is today, 1610, this global unique identifier was created. Inside of that, we'll find some of the files that we've created. And we'll see the earlier files that I worked on was on the 5th and the 7th. This is on the 23rd. There we can see the size of the file that we've worked on. But the name of the file is still encapsulated in a global unique identifier with its local database under the same global unique identifier. Then we've also got the central cache and the linked models. So all of this is saved onto your C drive BIM now, which is the path that we've set. And if necessary, you can recover from there. So let's suppose everything went wrong, but you still have a copy of your local. Then you're able to go to C drive BIM, what it is, collaboration cache. And then based on the date and the size, you'd then be able to open that file just to make sure that it is in fact the right copy. And there we have it. All right. So that's the method of working in 2024. If you're working with an older file, you would have had to go to your C drive users into your username into app data, local, Autodesk, then into Revit, into the year, say it was 2023, then into your collaboration cache, and then into your global unique identifier as before. And you did not have control over where you would want that saved. So the difference in 2024 now is that we can set that path. We no longer have to navigate to this long path within app data local anymore and hopefully also for the average user not the BIM manager it then becomes easy to manage your local copies but I hope you've enjoyed this short session until next time enjoy Revit